Ugh, shit. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Juan, aka Juan TV, and I'm back with another video, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you know what I'm saying? It's been almost a week since I dropped the video. Oh my god. But yeah, I think I've been tired. I ain't on cap. I've been tired, boy. Shit. Whew. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Before we get into this video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give, give y'all a second to subscribe. I'm gonna give y'all a second. Go ahead. You get it? All right, bet. All right, so today's video is gonna be something different. Uh, it's gonna be a sneaker story time. You know what I'm saying? So, it's basically gonna be how I got finessed. You know what I'm saying? Very recently, December, I got finessed in a fake pair of bread Elevens. Let's get into it. I put on racks out. The fuck is you mad about? Is you mad about? I blew a bag out. Right. Told you I ain't going outside now. Four BB when I back. Alright, so like I said, I got finessed for a pair of bread lemons, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, let me hit y'all with the beginning. Alright, so, it was over YouTube, we'll jump right into it. So, it was, I think in like November of last year, 2019, they shot drop on the Nike sneakers app, you know what I'm saying? These bad boys right here, you know what I'm saying? Shot drop on Nike sneakers app. I was leaving work at the time. Cause I think I worked from 5 a.m. to 2 that day. And as I was leaving, they shock dropped on the sneakers app. And I was trying to get my size. I tried for my size, my size 7Y first. Took an L. And then, but they still had men's sizes available. And they still had a men's 7 somehow. A men's 7 is completely rare. So, I tried for that. Took an L again. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm saying? So then after I took the L, cause like this shoe right here, a shoe I've never had, you know what I'm saying? I've always wanted, never had it. It's just a beautiful shoe. So I'm thirsty, you know what I'm saying? I'm just looking for sellers, you know what I'm saying? Who's selling them for the low? Well, not really the low, but for a good price. Cause I was, the fuck? Cause I was willing to pay 220 for the shoe, even though it's 170 retail for me. I was willing to pay 220, you know what I'm saying? That's men's retail. So I was like, okay, cool. So I found the seller. And I'm gonna say the nigga name. Cause he still do business now. I, I, yeah. So his name on Instagram is SneakerGods1K. I applied. Okay, I put it up. I don't care. But yeah, SneakerGods1K, you know what I'm saying? He was doing pre orders for, I think, 200. Yeah, 200. So I'm like, okay, bet. You know, I hit him up in the DMs, you know what I'm saying? He was a, he seemed, seemed like a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, bet, whatever it is, whatever it is, whoop de whoop. Excuse me, you know what I'm saying? I was, whoop de whoop, what's up, what's good, you know what I'm saying? You got signs of 7Y, what's up, what's good? Whoop de whoop de whoop, transaction like that. Ooh, red flag. Nigga did cash out. That was the first red flag, you know? That ain't PayPal, no type of authenticity nothing that's a immediate red flag like i said i was thirsty so i hit him up with the cash i was like fuck it you know what i'm saying i want these it is what it is so then whoop -de -whoop. i paid for the shoe and then like he was giving me to run around for like a couple weeks so then like the third week i was i hit him up again I was like bro what's up where my shoes at you know what i'm saying and then he was like Oh, what? He's like, what city are you in? I told him about the Lahuti Woo. And then he sent me the um the tracking information. Actually, did he? Or did he just tell me they was gone? He just sent me the receipt or the he sent me the receipt for the shoe. He didn't send me the tracking information. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. You know what I mean? So I get the shoe in, I think a week before they release. And I told you it was like November when this shit happened. So it took him a whole month and some change to get me my shoe. So, uh, you know, so I was already, you know what I'm saying, skeptical about dude. I get him, man, you know, so first of all, it's the wrong size. It wasn't this. It wasn't a 7 Y. you know what I'm saying? Let me get, let me get the box. Let me get the box. It wasn't a 7 Y. you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was just a regular 7, you know what I mean? A regular men's 7. I'm and I, and I clearly stated in the DM, a 7Y. So, boom. 
But then I, I was, but I, I ain't, I was too geeked up in the mind. Like, oh, I got some bread, I got some bread, whoop de whoop. You know what I'm saying? So then, what happened after that? I showed him to my pops, you know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, yeah, he's clean, oh, whoop de whoop whoop whoop. Cause he ain't know either. So then, the hype died down, you know what I'm saying? I get calm, I get, you know what I'm saying? Level minded again. I'm like, hold on. He's looking a little sus, you know what I mean? So the first red flag that I should have known was the inside paper was a white tissue paper. If you have the brands from 2019, you know that they come with this black trash bag paper, you know what I mean? So they had the white tissue paper in there. So I was like, I thought I was tripping. So I went and checked out some reviews. I checked out Bullet RC and Mike Rich. They both had the black tissue paper. So I'm like, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then I look at the toe box. I'm like, oh damn. I was like, oh, yeah, these fool fool, these these fool yah yah. So I DM dude. No, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. I DM him dude after I seen the size. I was like, did you mean to send me a seven size instead of a seven Y? You know what I mean? And then like he didn't respond to that. So like 20 minutes later, that's when I had noticed it was fate, and I was like. Oh yeah, and these are unauthentic. He was, and his response, he just straight up said, 100% authentic. That's all he said. That's all he said. So I'm like, dude. So then I, I broke down, so I was like, so the toe box is off, and that, it doesn't even have the right tissue paper. You know what I mean? And then he was like, huh? That's exactly what he said, huh? That's exactly what he said, you know what I'm saying? Like a dumbass nigga, that's exactly what he said, huh? So he lied. But yeah. Then I sent him pictures. I sent him a pic, a screenshot of Mike Rich video unboxing the shoe, seeing the black trash bag tissue paper in there, and then I sent a picture of the one I got with the white regular standard tissue paper. And then after that, he stopped responding, just like that. I throw the screenshots up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like he just stopped responding after that. And like I ain't I won't even on no on no no fuck shit. I won't even know no aggressive type shit. You know what I mean? Did I say aggressive? I think I did. I won't on no aggressive type shit, you know. I just I was just like, look bro, I don't know if you got finessed and sent me the wrong shoe or you got or you got it from a buyer and he won't legit as you thought he was and then that happened with the woo on I don't know what it is, I just want money back, I see the shoe back. Don't care. He just wasn't responding. Like, like I said, to this day, right now, he still does business. Cause he pops up in my um What's the feed called? The shit on your Instagram? Recommended? Whatever. Whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he pops up in there every now and then, you know what I'm saying? I still see he doing that that fool shit. You know what I mean? I think he in Texas too. So if y'all watching the John Texas, y'all know y'all. Y'all go hit him up, tell him Juan TV sent you. You know what I mean? I might put his name in the title of video too. But, but yeah, like I said, like, I just kept hitting nigga up. I think I sent him like, probably like 10 to 15 messages. And he just didn't read them. I was like, okay. But I wish I could show y'all how fake they look. Cause I don't still have them anymore. I sold them. But, however, I'm a real nigga. I told whoever bought them that they was fake. So... Don't even question it. If I can find it, I'll put it, I'll put proof. But yeah, I sold it to a dude on Poshmark and I was even in the description I said they're not authentic. And he said, what does that mean? I was like, they're not from Nike and Jordan brand, they're fake. And he was like, okay, cool. And But he fucked up, though. He bought it for his kid. He fucked up. But yeah, that had nothing to do with me. So I was like, if you want me, if you want me to say, fuck it, whatever. Yeah. But I only sold them for $100. So I didn't even make what I made back. I, made, I think I gave him 100 no, 200 for the shoe. I sold the fake one for $100. So I still had $100 to make up for, you know what I'm saying? So... That's why I went ahead and purchased these boys on GOAT. 
you know what I mean? For I think I paid like 223, these are now like 350. So I'm glad I made that move. And like, yeah, just watch out who you do business for, man. Cause that's, I tell you, that shit blew me, bro. I, I called Trayvon. I remember I called Trayvon, I showed him the shoe. He ain't know either. I showed him, like, look, bro, I got bread, bro. I put him on feet and everything. I'm like, look, bro, I got bread, you know what I'm saying? And then, I had to call him back. I was like, bro, fake, fake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was excited than a bitch, bro. Like, and then I got finessed. Like, somebody finessed me. Me. Like, come on, man. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? A young goat trying to do the thing, you know what I'm saying? You gonna finesse me on a pair of breads. Some bread 11s. Which, me, I do blame myself. I shouldn't have been thirsty, like, Release day, I could have got these easily on release day. They sat on Foot Locker until about 8 o'clock at night. Like, I really could have just waited and just copped them like that. But I was thirsty, never had a pair of brands before. And it was just, you know. And before y'all talk shit, you know, let me get the proof. That these is from GOAT, you know what I'm saying? No foo foo. Where's the card? Oh. Here's the card, you know what I'm saying? Come with Woody Woo. Where's the goat? There you go. You know what I'm saying? No foo foo. No foo foo. You feel me? But yeah. So yeah. Your boy got finessed on a pair of red 11s. I do recommend y'all hitting that nigga up in the DMs. I do want I do want somebody to do it, bro. I'm like, ooh, damn D. Damn D. Damn D like exposing niggas. So if y'all can get Damn D to watch this video, cause Damn D is in Houston. Seen guy one K, I think he's in Houston. Boom, just like that. Cause he he out there, you know what I'm saying, doing some fool shit. Like I said, I'm gonna definitely show the screenshot of me DMing him. Um, if I could find the listing on Poshmark that I did sell that shoe and I did say it was fake, I also put that up. And yeah. Damn, man. He still, he be, he got the, I know I was watching his Instagram. I, he got the, them all black 11s that come out in December. He got them early, like, two months ago. Come on, nigga. Steam guys, 1K. You ain't a real nigga. For real. But, anyway, that's all I got for this video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like comment subscribe you know what i'm saying this video i really want y'all to share because this y'all like because this dude that like that shit won't cool bro like he got he got a bounce he got a bounce but yeah with all that being said it's your boy Juan tv you know what i'm saying hope y'all don't make the same mistake i made you know what i'm saying just you know what i'm saying be patient it'll come to you and they make a lot of pair of 11s so i don't know why i was that thirsty you know what I'm saying? You, you, it's hard to get on 11 it's easy to win a raffle on 11 if you put in the footwork to get it, you get it. It's just that simple. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, all that hot shit, your boy Juan TV, and this thing, and I'm out. Bitch! Take your whole music. Uh, chill. She say boss up, so I drop the top on that bitch. She want fucking with